Okay, quick little haul to share. I went to Texas Art Asylum mm. yesterday and picked up a few things. Um, one of them was this transparency. I'm not sure <laughs> which way it goes. I'm gonna I'm gonna think this way. They had a whole bunch of these, and they were all of different. Um, some of the different art pieces that have been on display over at the Museum of Fine Arts. And I don't know if this was the way they used to keep records of them or what, but they had like hundreds and hundreds of these. They were a dollar each. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I was just really drawn to its transparentness. So, yeah, there we go. I picked up uh, this kind of sad little paper thing because it's paper and it has lines and I just really like that. And it's, um, you know, this kind of hooked together and they're numbered. Each one of them has a number. I know they do. There we go. Yeah, they've got little numbers on them. I have no idea what this was originally used for, but it was interesting and different, and it was paper, and it was like a dollar or two, I can't remember, so yeah, it came home with me. And I got this thing of these little Tyvek tags, and um, they were a dollar, and I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they're Tyvek, you know, right? So, they don't tear, but they do melt all funky. <laughs> if you hit them with a heat gun, they just do really weird things. So, um, I got them to play with for a dollar. Yeah. I also, for a couple of dollars, got this thing of some, uh, Speed Dry Magic Color, this is liquid acrylic ink stuff, and I shook it up and tested it, and it was not quite dry, but it works just fine. So, that was well worth it. And these are some old water slide decals. Um, I think they were probably used for ceramics, and, you know, they look like... I mean, just from the design on them, they look like they're from the 70s or something. But anyway, this whole stack was for $5, so I got these to play with. I thought they might make good little, you know, collage elements, and they work. I've tried them out, a couple of them. Let's see. I did. Which one did I do first? I, oh. <laughs> well... That's part of one. I'm just going to glue that down and it's going to be fine. <laughs> that was just a little piece of one that I played with. And here was another one. Be a little more careful. Right there. And these I didn't even glue down. I just kind of slid the decal off and it stuck. Well, okay, that first one maybe not quite so much, but this one seemed to. And this third one was not really sticking, so I glued it down. It was that one. But they remind me a little bit of the, um, you know, the laser tran water slide decals. You ever use those? Kind of like that, only not quite as awesome, but still fun. Let me find here. I'll just use this page. All you do is you take the decal, you soak it in water, and ideally you're just supposed to soak it long enough for it to loosen up from the backing paper and not completely separate <laughs> like this one has. Because <laughs> it's been soaking for like, I don't know, two hours because I forgot about it. But once the decal lets go from the backing paper, then you can slide it off. You can turn it this way or the other way. It doesn't really matter. And just slide the backing paper away. And then there you have your image. 
and you smooth out any bubbles or <laughs> okay there we go or water that's trapped underneath and then there you go cool right so those are going to be fun to to play with I mean they're not necessarily gorgeous colors or designs or anything they're kind of outdated but that is no big deal because you can still mess with them right paint over them or just use them as part of layers or something so anyway that was fun got a whole bunch of those and the last thing I picked up was this book and I really tried hard not to buy any books because you know I have books lots of books but I couldn't resist. This was five dollars, and this is the um, Black Book of Illustration from 2004-2005, and I just really loved some of the um, illustrations in here, and they're just awesome. And I can use them for different things, for you know, journaling by fives. You're always needing a little focal image, right? So. Yeah, all kinds of cool stuff in here that I can use. Some of it's really, you know, commercial looking, and some not so much. So I thought that was well worth my five bucks. Uh, okay, how fun, right? Oh my gosh, he's definitely going on a journaling by fives page. So those, <laughs> those were my goodies from the art asylum yesterday. And um, I don't have anything else interesting to talk about, so that's all. The end.